Okay, let's get to uh, let's get to Representative Mark Early is with us, and he represents, as you know, uh, Richmond, Virginia, and uh, newly elected delegate there. One of the uh, one of the conservative movement members that I think is end up going to be a spokesperson one day. I predict he's Speaker of the House, and he's with us now. Mark Early, thanks for being with us. I really wanted to get you on today because this skill game scam bill that came out of the House on Friday is one of the most egregious, disgusting pieces of crap that I've ever seen come out of Virginia. Basically, what this bill does, it puts unregulated scam gambling in every neighborhood in the Commonwealth of Virginia, on every street corner, there's very few restrictions. It's a, it, it, there's no security. There's no monitoring age. There's nothing. It is basically driven by money that the owner, Pesomatic, by the way, they say, oh, we're for small businesses. Really? You're on corporate drive in Atlanta. Like, give me a break. You guys are scum. This bill is so egregious. And as it went through the house, it got worse and worse and worse, all because they gave all this money. Louise Lucas got 250 large. It all goes down the pike. And then, oh, we're going to help small businesses. Are you telling me to sell a quart of milk? You now have to bring in gambling. And then I, I think it was uh, somebody said, I, th I think it was Terry uh, Kilgore, somebody said, I don't want to point him out because I don't know. Somebody said, well, there's a 25% tax on it. Okay, so why don't we do this then? If it's all about getting tax rate, let's legalize prostitution in Virginia. Let's put a, a whorehouse in the back of every 7-Eleven, not monitor it, and just charge them a 25% tax. I mean, is that their argument? This thing is gross. Governor Yunkin should veto this bill in an eyelash mark. Am I right? I think you are right, John, and I, I do hope the governor is going to veto it. I, you know, just to set the stage for people, and you're exactly right with everything you're saying. So in Virginia, we've had a huge expansion in the last five or so years of gambling of all kinds, right? So no matter what you think about those things, whether it's casinos or, you know, the horse racing or sports betting, whatever, this is very different. And the reason this is different is because when you have a casino or you have a, you know, a Rosie's or something like that, if you want to go gamble there, you have to, you know, get up and go. You have to choose to do it. This is very different because this is basically putting it in everybody's face, in every gas station, in every neighborhood store. I mean, I, you know, I walk into these places all the time with my kids, right? My eight-year-old, my four-year-old. We're going to get a hot dog. We're going to get, you know, milk, whatever. And this is, and this is every, it's just everywhere. And you're exactly right that getting tax revenue for the state of Virginia doesn't justify anything and everything, right? Of course we need revenue for things, but that cannot be the end-all, be-all justification. This is bad for Virginia. It's bad for our kids. It's bad for our culture. And it's really bad, frankly, for people that struggle with this kind of stuff, with you know addiction and everything else, because this is making them deal with that and putting it in their face every day. And it's just, it's just such a, it's a wrong way to go. And I'll tell you, I am encouraged by uh, every time we voted on this, the vote uh, count got lower. So I, that's at least one piece of encouragement. I mean, at first it was 68 yeses, then it was 65, then it was 57, then it got down to 49, even though it still passed last Friday. It got worse throughout. Um, and it's just, I, I just think it's a disaster. I mean, they have, um, you know, they, they at least included in an earlier version of the bill that localities could, you know, would have to opt in if they wanted to do this. But that's gone, right? There's really no effective age verification um there if we pass this bill and it goes through we're looking at seventy thousand or more of these machines all throughout the commonwealth and it's just it, it's bad on almost every level and again my concern is largely about vulnerable people who not only are just going to lose all their money on these things but also who struggle with addiction these things have crime that follow them around all the time you can't really keep kids off these machines. There's no effective way to do it. So I just think this is a disaster. And if you look at if you look at the folks sort of behind this, if you go on VPAP and look at who's given the most money in the last few years, they are in the top few people who have just dumped money in Virginia to try to buy this in. And I'm going to do everything I can to stop it, and I hope the governor vetoes it. 
It's got to get vetoed because it is a it, it is a it is a scourge, I believe, on the Commonwealth of Virginia. You're bringing gambling to every street corner, every neighborhood, unregulated. Um, you've got it. It preys on the vulnerable. It preys on elders, you know, that lose their Social Security check doing it. You know, when you go to Rosie's in Virginia or you go to the racetrack at Colonial Downs or you go to one of the, the casino in Hampton, right, and we'll j just take Virginia. But it's the same. Look, I'm in Pittsburgh, right? So I go to Rivers Casino. You can't get in without an ID proving you over 20, 21. You can't right. get in the door, okay? And right. they scan your license. I mean, they take it. Like when I go to Pittsburgh at uh, River City, like my son is 19. I said, hey, come with me and we'll watch the game, not even thinking about it. And they wouldn't let him. They wouldn't let him in. So we had to go to the hotel end of it to see the game. I mean, and they scan your license and they have it. And if you do anything wrong or you're addicted, they they have that on the list. They don't let you in. There's security right. there. I mean, you go to Ro Rosie's. There's security everywhere. It's clean. You can go to your Seven Eleven or your Quick Check right up the street if this thing passes. You can walk in. You can buy a soda, you can sit down for two hours and play the machine, lose $200 like that. You, you can be 15, 18, or 70, or 80. They don't care. They're just trying to get the money. And then for them to say, oh, well, it's, you know, it's going to hurt the uh, C-store business. Give me a break. You guys aren't there to sell gambling. And then that whole thing about the 25%, you nailed it. So now if we can tax something, we can justify it? Well, why don't we just, okay, why don't we sell crack in the back of the quick check and just yeah. put a 25 percent tax on that fine Let, let's right. have a prostitute let's have drugs let's have let's have anything Ill illegal as long as you get 25 percent whoever made that comment i just it, it was just it just says to you the 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 corruption that's going on in there with this money and it's all about the money it's all about pesomatic it has nothing to do with the community and yeah. what say do you have in order to get a casino in, you've got right, to pass exactly. a referendum. The casino exactly. in Richmond went down two times. Why? The people of Richmond rejected it because it was a piece of crap. It was basically slots in a box. They don't want it there. These things, there's no referendum. The community doesn't have a say. They just shoved them in there, and they all have got their hand in the, in the, in the money pot from vulnerable Virginians. This thing, is, to me of anything I've ever seen come out of Virginia. And I've seen some bad legislation come out of there, Mark. This is the worst. Yeah, I, I do think it's really bad. And I want people to understand, if we go through with this, Virginia is out on an island. It's going to be the only state with commercial casinos, HHR gaming, and regulated slot machines. I mean, I, I don't think... You know, Virginia does not want to be known as sort of the gambling capital. I mean, that is we're, we don't want to be Vegas. That's just not who we are. That's not what we are. And this is just a step, um, not only a step in the wrong direction, it's really a leap because, again, it takes it from sort of isolated locations where you got to make the effort to go to gambling on every street corner in every neighborhood. It's just not good. And at the end of the day, John, like you said, we need to think less about, well, how can we get more revenue? How can we get more revenue? How can we get more revenue? And more about what is what is good for the people of Virginia? What do the people of Virginia need and want? That's really what we need to be focused well, on. Well, nobody so, wants this. Uh, That's the other thing. Mark, Mark, Mark John, early John, with the, us. E the, the, email, the emails I've gotten from constituents on this are like 50 to 1. I mean, it's, it's not even close. People are opposed to these things. They don't want it. And if there was a vote, the, the reason why they don't want to vote, they don't want a referendum, is because every single one of them would fail because nobody wants That's them. That's right. So, you know, th this is like backdoor around the people. This is a, a money grab. We're with Representative Mark Early, House of Delegates, Virginia Republican, uh, one of the conservative members, I think is going to be speaker one day. So thank you for your leadership on this, Mark. But there's not a lot of local legislation that gets me fired up this way. This thing is so bad. And look, I'm pro-gambling. I was for reopening Colonial Downs. Paramutual. I was for uh, I was for online athletic gaming, DraftKings, FanDuel, whatever. I'm in favor of that. I'm a DraftKings player. I have a site called Godzilla Wins. We handicap every day. I was for a casino, not the one in Richmond because it was gross, but I was for the ability 
to communities to vote on whether they wanted a casino, like they did in Hampton, right? I'm in favor of that. Let the communities decide. Richmond voted down two times because that casino was awful, and they did the right thing. But let it be up to the people. This thing is getting jammed down your throat. You know, I have story. My mom would go to buy a quart of milk and lose $100 there. I mean, we had to go and drag her out. I mean, it was like, like why, why do we have these? They're disgusting, and it's all about the money. And I tell you what, Glenn Youngkin should veto this bill. And I know, Mark, I know in his heart and soul that Youngkin hates this bill, right? Now, he's going to get leverage because of, you know, they're going to try to trade his votes for the— for the um, for this for the stadiums for the you know the the hockey and the basketball in Northern Virginia, I get the way politics is. There's some horse training going on, but you know Glenn Youngkin, you know in his heart, this bill to him is an, is just anathema. Is he gonna is he gonna veto it? I sure I sure hope so. I sure hope so. And and to be honest with you, I think. I think everybody knows when they look at this. I, th- I think everybody knows it's it's just it's just the wrong way to go, you know. People, but people are very very tempted by the promise of more revenue. But as we've already talked about, look, you cannot just justify anything by saying what's well, going to get more revenue. It's not the way we govern. It's not good for the people, and um, we need to be representing the people and not just chasing after money all day. If Yunkin doesn't veto this. I don't know how he goes to Iowa in 2027. And one of the things on his record is that he turned the Commonwealth of Virginia into a mecca of low-life gambling on every street corner and neighborhood and bringing crime there. Like, is that what he's going to run on? Here's what I did in Virginia. I let pass this egregious bill so granny and grandson can gamble away and be addicted and no and crime went up that's 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 what you're going to run on i mean that's what because i tell you what if i'm desantis and i'm running against him or haley or you pick anybody it's the first thing i'm going to bring up i'm going to run tv ads on it he's got to veto this bill this thing is if and i know in his heart this is this is the thing mark I know in his heart he looks at this bill and he loathes it. I know in his soul he hates it. So is it going to be politics, Glenn, or are you going to do the right thing? Veto this bill. Veto this bill. Mark Early, thanks for being with us.